The portion of British Columbia we see from the boat is tiny indeed. But the combination of the working coast and ecotourism gives a glimpse of a future that reconciles industry and conservation. Funding for In the Americas with David Yedman was provided by Agnes Howard. About 50 miles across Puget Sound from Seattle lies Vancouver Island in Canada. We'll travel up island, as locals say, to meet our boat, a sort of eco-freighter. From the southeastern end of the island, we drive northwest to Campbell River through what once was unending rainforest. The province of British Columbia in Canada is nearly as big as the state of Alaska. Vancouver Island off the coast is bigger than many states in the United States. It's only one of several thousand smaller islands. Getting to those other islands can also be tricky. And there are places where the only way to get to the mainland is from one of those islands. Just a few feet from the highway is one of the few remaining tracts of temperate rainforest left in the southern part of Vancouver Island. The two principal trees in this forest are the red cedar, which is over 500 years old, and the Douglas fir, which will get up to seven or 800 years old. Now, these trees, particularly the red cedar, were of extraordinary value to native peoples for a hundred different products, but they're even more valuable now for commercial lumber, and thank heavens they're preserved protected here in this park. It's hard to estimate the diameter of this tree, but look, my tip to tip fingers span is 72 inches or six feet. So if we take a bunch of Yetmans, there's two, four, six. Circumference divided by pi, it's over 10 feet in diameter, and it is immensely tall. 